Hi, I'm Paris, and it was four days ago that I put out my mold check test sheets in each room of the house, let them collect a sample of air, put the special liquid on each one, put them in the incubator to let them grow, and grow they have. So I'm going to show you how the test sheets have turned out and tell you what the next step I'm going to take will be when sometimes you see this and sometimes you see this. Epic review guys. I will bring the camera over here in a minute and let you have a good look at my various test sheets, but I just wanted to catch you up in case you missed the first video. I had some rain leak through the roof, also had a couple times when underneath a couple sinks in the house there was a little bit of flooding. And so I just became concerned that there could be mold growing in the house and wanted to see whether it was in the air, possibly affecting our health though. No one here in the house has any health effects that we can see tied to that. And rather than paying several hundred dollars to a thousand dollars to have a company come in and check things out, I looked into doing it as a DIY project and I found that is possible to do. Decided to do it in two steps rather than just ordering a couple swabs and swabbing a couple places and sending it away to see what kind of mold was growing, I thought it would be more representative to use these test strips from this mold check kit, which I'll link to down below this video. This gives you these test sheets that you set up all around your house. You leave them all exposed for an hour, mold spores if there are any, fall onto them, you seal them up, you put the liquid on, and then that will grow and then you can see the mold load, I guess, in different rooms of your house. I also put one of these outside because my question was, well, I can see mold in different rooms of the house growing on the sheets, but how does it compare to outside? Is there more mold in the house? If so, then I'm really gonna be worried. If there's less mold, I won't be quite as concerned. What this doesn't tell you is what types of mold. That's step two, and I'll get to that after I show you these test sheets. Here are all 10 of them. Now your eye will probably be drawn to this one first because whoa, that's a lot of stuff growing there. That's actually the one I left outside on the porch. There was a little bit of wind that day. Now the blue that you see, as I understand it, is probably yeast. So that's not something we're gonna worry about. The black dots, and if they're red or some other colors, can be mold colonies. There's a grid on the paper so that you can use that to help count the colonies in case you need to do that as comparison. But in my case, I think it's pretty clear where there's mold and where there isn't. Now the next sheet that pulled up the most is the attic. And that worried me quite a bit at first because we did have that roof leak and I'm thinking, oh, we've got some mold growing up there that could get into the rest of the house. But then I thought, well, then again, the attic is open to the outside. Um, there's the vents at either end and the wind does blow through there to keep the attic cool. So the fact that there's less than this could represent the amount of air blowing through the attic. The fact that there's some could mean it's just a subset of this. In other words, this to me now doesn't necessarily indicate mold growing in the attic. It could just be mold spores that blew through from the outside. Now the next most on a sheet was this one. And this is from the entryway, just six feet inside the front door. Now there's a skylight there that's had some leaking over the years. And so that's what I was thinking I would capture, but I'm realizing I may have yet again captured just some outdoor mold six feet from the front door. There's a good chance the door being open and closed throughout the day lets more mold in than you would find in other rooms of the house. Now as for rooms where we actually spend our time and we might be concerned if there was a fair amount of mold or even a little bit of bad mold, this was from the floor of Roxana's bedroom here, three. This is from Jimena's bedroom, one. This is from the master bath, one. And then the last four are really surprising. This is the living room, kitchen, the kid's bathroom, and the master bedroom. Just about nothing. There's a little blue thing there, blue thing there, blue thing there, but those are probably yeast, not mold. So what does this tell me? <laughs> Comparing it to the outside, to the attic, to the other rooms, and then these four with apparently no mold spores at all that fell on the sheet during the hour it was exposed to the air in those rooms. It tells me that the filter we've been using and our air conditioner is doing a really remarkable job. This says it will remove uh, bacteria and mold spores from the air that circulates through our whole house air conditioning system and it seems like it's actually doing that. 
That's why we ended up with rooms that have no mold spores, at least at day four, showing up, even though outside you got this going on. But the filter doesn't catch everything, and so in uh, my children's bedrooms, there were a few mold spores that landed on the sheet and grew. I don't know what type of mold this is. It does have me a little worried. Now the mold spores could have come in on their clothes, um, when they had the windows open one afternoon, could have been circulating in the room, something like that. But I would like, I'd, I'd have more peace of mind if I actually tested to see what these particular types of molds were and also the, um, the master bathroom, just to see that one. Now there are test kits that you can buy singly. Now these are where you send them off to a laboratory um, or in threes, much cheaper to do it in threes. The single test is about $35 or three tests for about $50. This kit was 50, so I think I'm going in with another 50 to send off three samples and have those laboratory analyzed. The company I'm going to go with to do that testing is DIY Mold Test, Easy Mold Test. Those are the names on the package. It's uh, tapes that they send you. And the idea is you can go to any surface that has dust, which I could find lots of places. You take it and you just pick up some of the dust. The idea is that the mold spores will have settled there as part of the dust over time and so you have a fairly good chance of capturing mold spores from whatever is floating around in your room. What I can do, they say not to open these because mold spores will be released. Well obviously I have these mold spores already in the house and there aren't that many on this so when I order that kit and it arrives I'll do a, a, the next video in this series about gathering that sample and sending it off. Um, I will open this up and take the tape and pick up a sample of the mold that's growing here because that's the one that I want to find out about. I'll link to this mold test of the three surface tests uh, down below this video. It's about $45 if you live anywhere except Texas. If you're in Texas, it's an extra $24. I don't understand the reason for that, but I'm thinking it's some regulatory thing that Texas has about labs that do testing for mold. So, so I'll feel better finding out what type of mold it is that's in the kids' rooms, but there's not a lot, and there are rooms of the house that don't show any, again, thanks to that filter, which I'll link to below this video too. I really like the line of air filters that we use in our AC. And compared to outside, in the house is actually not very moldy. So all good things, and there's no rush in getting it all sorted out, but in for a penny, in for an extra $24 because you live in Texas. So keep checking back for that follow-up video, or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.